Hello and welcomes back everyone, and for all fewer more Star Wars The Old Republic, playing as Malcolm the Smuggler here on the planet Ord Mantell. We've returned to Vito after assisting, I, well I loosely say assisting, a information gatherer, I suppose you can call him, called Reiki in Talaran village here. He told us to ha how to infiltrate the Separatist base here on Mantell Point, which is where we'll be going next. Uh, but before we go that way, we've actually gained level 10 and we can actually choose our advanced class. We will be playing as a scoundrel, because I just prefer the scoundrel playstyle rather than the gunslinger. The gunslinger is one of the most devastating DPS classes in the game, or at least it was when I previously played as them, unless they've sorted the balance issues out. But I like having the possibility of playing as the Sawbones Discipline Tree. In case we want to heal at some point during a flashpoint or two. So yeah, we're going to be a scoundrel. Dramatic music. So our icon has now changed. Wow, it really is dramatic. There you go, it's gone now. <laughs> we are now a scoundrel. We can actually choose our discipline tree. Obviously Sawbones is the healing tree using latest the latest advance advances in medical technology scrapper holding no punch, punches the scrapper scoundrel never backs down from a fight as long so long as said fight is on their terms able to hide from the fray the scrapper can suck a punch and bludgeon their adversary ducking back out before things get too hairy and biding their time until the moment is right to scrap once more or finally the ruffian Never shy about taking advantage of an opportunity, the ruffian is a rough and tumble scoundrel able to handle any fight, big or small, inciting chaos with a, with a shrapnel bomb and then coming in also, coming in close for a shot at point blank range. The ruffian scoundrel makes devious moves that keep their enemies reeling. I prefer Scrapper as a style because it reminds me of the operative's concealment discipline, discipline tree. It's getting up close and personal and basically keeping yourself close to the enemy and keeping them stunned and disabled while you're dealing your damage. So yeah. At level 10 we unlock an ability called Sucker Punch. This exploits upper hand to Sucker Punch the opponent for 198 to 216 kinetic damage. This requires and consumes upper hand. So we'll stick that down here for now. Upper hand is an ability that we'll gain. I think it's when you blaster whip someone. Let's have a look here. It may not tell me right now. Let's have a look. There you go, upper hand. Defeating an opponent or activating blaster whip gives you gives you the upper hand, enabling the use for, of exploits for up to 24 seconds. Up to two charges of upper hand can exist at once. Um, actually, we might need to, yeah, we need to unlock it. There you go. We've learned some new abilities as well. Backblast. Fires the scatter gun point blank into the target's backside, dealing 219 to 237 kinetic damage. Only usable while behind the target. If used from stealth, backblast deals 276 to 295 kinetic damage and grants an upper hand. We'll pop that here for now. Blaster Volley fires a blaster burst that hits up to 8 targets in a 10 meter cone in front of you. Um, where should we pop that? Pop that here for now. And Stealth. Sounds exactly what it is. We'll learn it because a hollow statue will probably disappear. Activate your stealth generator, making you and your companion difficult to detect. Movement speed is reduced to 85% of normal while in stealth. Most hostile actions and taking cover will break stealth. Your companion, your companion will not react to enemy attacks while stealthed as well. Okay. Where should we put stealth, I wonder, for now? There we go. Why not? So if we use Blaster Whip, if we use, is it Backblast, it gains us a 
upper hand if we use it from stealth. So really we should be stealthing up the enemies, back blasting them, maybe using blaster whip and then sucker punch to actually consume the upper hand. Or oh, back blast, sucker punch, blaster whip, sucker punch. These all use energy in some way. So we're going to have to be a lot more efficient on our energy usage. But yeah, it's going to be fun for us. Level 10. There we are. We need a supply pack. We can actually now equip our first scatter gun. I have a customizable one, I think at level 13. But we won't worry about that just yet. We will sell all our miscellaneous goods though. Take a look at the stock. What can I get you? Sell all these, we don't need any of them anymore. I see when we hit level 11 we'll be able to wear our customizable armor, which will pretty much set us up for Appreciate most of the game. Oh, we need to go speak to off the communications officer. Because we dealt with the data link hub earlier on in Talaran Village. Yeah, I don't think you see the scatter gun unless you're using its special ability. Unless you're using, say, Backblast. Which is a shame. Which is why it's... Once I've got my level 13 customizable one, I'm not sure if it's worthwhile picking up any better... Better looking ones, because you never see them unless you're using an ability. And I'm not sure even then if the animation changes. You're in charge of communications? I found a relay at a separatist safe house. They were tapping your signals. Blast. I thought we put a stop to that a month ago. I'll red flag all recent transmissions. Make sure nothing major leaked. I owe you one. There we go. Nice and easy. So we've got this cone attack as well. 10 meter cone in front. So it doesn't quite tell you its radius, but you can make a you can make a guess, I, I suppose. Another law object here. The Republic military ranks, if you wish to know them. Did you Okay, that's very interesting. Before we go towards Mantel Point, there's a few more people we can speak to here. Like you, Lieutenant. Damn Separatists. All they're doing is cutting themselves off. Cockeyed fools. All of them. Did you hear about the bridge to Manit Point? Those foolish Separatists think that by blowing up the bridge to Manit Point, they're striking a blow for the people. But all they've created is division. And division is death. Lots of good people got stuck in Manit Point when the bridge went out. The Separatists are trying to divide us. Divide and conquer, right? There was a doctor there, Jay and Kett. Brilliant medical man and staunch Republic supporter. Essential to our effort. We need someone with the know-how to find him. Would you pay someone with the know-how? Dr. Kett is worth a lot to the Republic. Of course we'll pay. Like I said, last contact we had with the good doctor, he was on Manit Point. Seeing as the bridge is out, you'll have to swim the channel. And you'll want to watch out for the Separatists on the shore. If you have any luck finding the doctor, try to get him back here. Think you can handle it? It won't be a problem. Great. That's the spirit. You know, I think we've got a chance at winning this thing. Now hurry up to Manit Point. We have a moment to lose. Ah, oh, sure thing. We can keep an eye out for the good doctor. On our way there. And finally we have this elderly couple. Ellis, dear, stop overreacting. We don't know it was him, and I don't see the use of bothering a stranger about it. You're too cold, Yero. 
This is our son we're talking about. He could be alive and on that island, and you don't care. That's not true. I just don't see the point in getting our hopes up or in wasting other people's time. We wouldn't waste anyone's time. We'll pay. We have the credits. There are guns for hire everywhere. Like you. Could you help us? Tell me what the problem is. I'll see what I can do. Don't listen to her. We don't need your help. My wife's chasing phantoms, that's all. A friend of hers thought she saw our son on Manet Point, but my wife knows quite well that our son is dead. Our son was taken from us years ago when the Separatists raided our home. My callous husband would rather believe he's dead, but I can't bear the thought. Our friend says she saw him. Oh, I must know if it's true. What's my role in all this? Jenna said she saw him at Manit Point. Please, will you go look for him? I'd give anything to have him back safe. Uh, we need a bit more information so we can try to identify him, but while on our way there anyway, sure we can check it out. I'll find him. You got my word on that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. His name is Paul, the spitting image of his father. You can't help but recognize him. Well, it's your time, I suppose. Find this Paul fellow, then. Okay, we can do that. Sure, why not? Let's get ourselves towards Manit Point. I see that's where the Separatists have um, held themselves up. After destroying the bridge. Take another skill stim here, increase our cunning once again. Let's try our new abilities out, shall we? And that was backblast and that was sucker punch. And they worked out rather well, didn't they? Stealth's not going to be ideal there, though. Oh, of course, if we kill people, we also get uh, a stack of upper hand, which is this one here. I do like the scoundrel. Not as good as playing with a shiv though, but almost. Yeah, the operative, the Imperial agent's counterpart to the scoundrel here uses a vibro knife instead of the scatter gun. And I just like it more. I like to play around with it. What the ability is actually called shiv. Which I just I like the, the concept of. Was a bonus mission we just got out of the way. And looks like a downed Republic Walker here. Looks like you're in a bind. Who took down your ride? Bastard Seps. Look at my AT. Their rocket launchers tore through the Durasteel hide like it was nothing. From the look of the vapor trails, I'm thinking Merce on MX2s. That's stolen Republic ordnance. They're using our own weapons against us! That could be trouble. The rockets were launched from the bridge. I need those rocket gunners taken out, and every cache of stolen weapons on Manet Point destroyed. Are you game? What's the upside for me? You'll be rewarded for your efforts, I promise you. Good luck over there. Defeat rocket gunners and destroy four weapons caches. That sounds good. I'm trying to think what's the best way... We'll try this out. Anyway, what's the best position for my skills here? So they become more second nature. If you're gonna be if you're tired of seeing that, I apologize, but I'm gonna be doing that quite often. It's literally just punching people to death. 
<laughs> Why? How could you get bored of that? Ah, there's a... Reminder, mechanized travel is for official business only. Transport service droid there. Stand by for examination and suggested products. Might as well give us some bonuses. And... The Malaran, how can I help you? Listen, if you're here to tell me to clear out, then I'll tell you the same thing I told that uptight commander. Not going to happen. Got it? I've got as much right as you do to be here. In fact, I've got more. I'm a model of free speech. A paragon for posterity. What are you? A local grunt. That's what. No good to anybody. So don't go telling me to clear out. I won't do it, and that's that. Had some trouble with the local troops? Are you trying to smooth talk me, gunslinger? Con me? Trying to play good soldier and... Oh, damn, you're not actually with the locals, are you? Sorry about that, my mouth always engages first. Brain's working now, though, and I got an idea. I need something done, and I don't have enough credits to bribe the whole corrupt Ord Mantell army. I've got enough to bribe a smaller army, though. You for hire? What's the job? Think of it as an adventure. Wait, no, don't do that. You'll wander off aimlessly. Think of it as a job. My partner and I were in Manit Point recording stories of the uprising when the Separatists attacked. Bombs everywhere. Carnage like you wouldn't believe. Fabulous footage. My partner got lost. A good kid, but not a lot upstairs, you know. He's still out on that island somewhere. So, it's a rescue mission? <laughs> sure. Why not? I mean, he was a nice kid. I'm more worried about the hollow recordings we took of the uprising, though. Look, if you can find my partner and bring him back, great. His name is Wax, and he's a self-important little hollow recording specialist. If he's dead or whatever, I'll still pay you for the holodisks if you can find them. Great footage on there, fantastic gory stuff. I'll let you know what I dig up. Bring me those discs. She's a little bit crazy. Just a little. Uh, hmm. Trying to think. We haven't actually done a great deal this video, but I'm thinking I'm going to break it early before we actually go over the Manit, um, Manit Point itself, because that's going to take up a lot of time. Uh, so yeah, I'll break this early. So, we've gained the Scoundrel class and walked a few yards. I hope you all forgive me for that, but yeah, this of course is Anvil for Star Wars The Old Republic, playing as Malcolm the Smuggler. I say let me know what you think, and I will see you for more in the next video. Until then, though, bye-bye now.